I could no longer suppress the excitement that gradually emerged, and I started running. Just like when I arrived in Orario half a year ago, I became a prisoner of the new world. This even made me forget the current situation, run across the street, climb the steps and reach a relatively high place. I placed my hands on the railing and looked at the school, what a beautiful view before me. It's amazing. Everywhere he looked there were white buildings and blue roofs. There are more than 50 of these beautiful teaching buildings that can only be seen. You could say it is a paradise of sea and sky. Several avenues depart from the central area and extend radially outward to separate several neighborhoods. Among the buildings painted uniformly white and blue to create a beautiful contrast, what catches the eye is a facility that is probably an arena. The material used is white diamond, which is found in the labyrinth and can also be used as a material for weapons. In my eyes, this is the only majestic building among the beautiful streets. In the background of the field of vision, there is a green area near the stern of the ship, is it a park? Even if you just look at the area, it is big enough to accommodate the three arenas now. However, the most powerful thing. It should be the most visible tower located in the center. Although not as tall as the Tower of Babel, this enormous tower that rises into the sky is so tall that you have to look up to see it all. Like other teaching buildings, the beautiful white tower also has a blue roof, which is more magnificent than spectacular. Looked at this way, the entire school district looks like a subsidiary city built around a huge central tower. Even if you don't know anything about it, it's not hard to imagine that this tower must play an important role on this supergiant ship. At the same time, it also felt a little familiar. This structure, is it similar to Orario? I remembered the whole school district I saw from the air before I fell. If we exclude the numerous blue feathers that surround the giant ship itself, likely used as parts of the sail, the structure of the school district is a standard circle. Like a labyrinthine city surrounded by huge walls. Miss Ina said that this place is supported by the guild, plus there is a huge tower in the center and several lines extending out from the middle. Main Road Avenue, maybe my reasoning isn't wrong, Maybe this place is actually based on the Labyrinth City. A small maze city. In other words, Orario's brother. Just cleaner and prettier than the prototype. The reason it has that label is because one side is an adventurer city and the other side is a student city. I leaned in as far as I could, recording the school district scene in my mind. You are really very powerful, Nina. You are number one. Hurry up and get out of the crane tail team and get back to the teaching subject. Only then. The noise reached my ears and caught my attention. It was a stone road facing the steps above. Just below me. Girls of different races walked by talking and laughing. It's just a coincidence. It turns out the test interval was right. I looked at her, who was at the center of the matter and my eyes widened. She has long brown hair, tied with a bow near her back. Her ears are thinner than those of humans, but not as pointy as those of elves. Although she is half-elf, one of her bangs is dyed emerald, which seems to indicate her noble lineage. Her pupils are also jade green. Even though there was distance, I could still see that her profile was very straight and lovely. However, there is something more important than these banal reflections. I couldn't help but see the shadow of that person in that girl. Miss Ina. She doesn't wear glasses and her height is different. The hairstyle and surrounding environment are also different. Even so, I still called that person's name. There was no way she could hear that whisper. But she stopped and looked at me as if she were being guided by the wind that was blowing off the sea. My red pupils looked down. His emerald eyes looked up. Under the clear blue sky, the two people's eyes intertwined. 
Emergency warning. Emergency warning. The school district has found traces of the intruder. Right now. As if the increasingly transparent air between the two people was shattered, the amplified sound was deafening, resonating throughout the entire school district. According to the Alchemy Department's investigation, there are two intruders. One is a god and the other is a dependent. The disciplinary committee's report pointed out that he was probably wearing a uniform and pretending to be a student. The source of the transmission is the magic stone speaker installed in the building and pillars. As if wanting to inflict divine punishment on the lawbreakers who entered the sacred realm, the announcer became increasingly angry and my face became paler. The race is human and the gender is male. Characterized by white hair and red eyes. Repeat, pure white hair like a crazed rabbit and a human with red eyes like a pervert with red eyes. Is this type of description considered slander? But I didn't even have time to protest. Originally there were only half-elf girls looking at me, but now there are more and more of them, with visions coming from all directions, covering me tightly like a forest of weapons. White hair, red eyes. Hey, isn't that, that one over there? The students walking on the road started making noise for five seconds. Sweat ran down his face to his chin, which took a second. An unusual atmosphere rose around him for half a second. The intruder found. The roar sounded in the next moment. The loud noise made by the students made the half-elf shoulders tremble in fear, and at the same time, I turned around in an instant. There was a bang and a lot of sweat poured from my face and back. I did my best to escape. The target is escaping. Go north of the 6th district and head towards the 9th district. Let the people from the cafeteria flank them. Ask the supervisor for permission to use weapons and magic in the academy. Wait a minute. Naturally, the students pursued him, and there were no less than 20 in number. Every time I ran across a road, more students joined the chase team at the fork in the road. I felt dizzy because of it, but I still didn't stop running much. What also didn't stop was the cold sweat and uncomfortable heartbeat. I instantly became a fugitive in the school district, and the current situation made me lose all my blood. The unrepentant adventurers of Orario have invaded again. Don't even think about it, you are all violating the rules. How can we accept the invitation? Take him. Send him to Orario and investigate. Isn't this considered a crime? Even if he is not caught, he will be prosecuted by the school district and placed in the guild prison. The constant wave of pessimism and despair almost made me faint and fall to the ground, but at this moment, I suddenly discovered something. Stop dash. As soon as I turned a corner and reached another road, I discovered that the students had erected a wall of people in front of me. Did I run to a place where students gathered? No, I was induced. Same as instructions. Betelban, is flanking. The road is blocked. Capture him. That's absolutely right. The students who found me kept a short distance behind me to intimidate me, and at the same time, they quickly issued instructions to the surroundings and formed a surrounding network at the induced location in front. All of this happened in just a few minutes and the students' collaboration was incredible. Observing their uniform movements, compared to the labyrinth city where it is difficult to cross the family barrier, I couldn't help but feel respect. And this respect is directly related to my safety. Yes. Therefore, I forcibly twisted my body, or in other words, made a decisive, big leap. What? Flying. Running on the stone slabs, I stepped hard and twisted my body like a juggler. I climbed high onto the roofs of the 10-meter high educational buildings lined up along the road and reached the area next door. I drew a parabola and disappeared into the depths of the teaching building. At the same time, 
from the corner of my field of vision, I glimpsed the students staring at me wordlessly, wanting to attack from both sides. Quickly, run after him. What happened to that guy? He just jumped over the teaching building. I was lucky enough to land on an empty road and it took me less than five seconds in total. After a brief period of silence, confused screams erupted from the adjacent road on the other side of the teaching building. The sound caught me breaking through and running, and hit my back again. In the dungeon and with, Apollo Familia, and the, Ishtar Familia, I had no choice but to develop the skills to escape from large groups of people. Although it was very empty, I have now fully utilized it. The story of Bell Cranel is the story of the escape and is omitted below.